Hi everyone. Something dawned on me the other day about being able to make a change. And the change that we're looking to make, you know, we'll fantasize about it. We'll imagine what it's like having this car, this new boyfriend, dating Dwayne Johnson. I don't know. And then we'll have the opportunity to have our change and we'll freak out because the, the whole concept of this change becomes real and it used to be a fantasy and we will hold ourselves back because it's better not to know if we could have had it than have it and not know what to do with it. So what we end up doing is limiting ourselves and our lives and our capability for the fear of actually being happy. So success only exists in the absence of failure. We will have opportunities to achieve goals, achieve desires, achieve happiness every single step of the way through our life. And there'll be something that comes up to stop us. And that, that, that thing that, stop us, that stops us is self-belief. Oh, I can't lose the weight. Oh, I can't run a four minute mile. You know, I can see other people doing it, but they're so much better than me. It's self-belief and confidence. It's what's coming up. Now, building self-belief and confidence is something that starts as a child. It's the self-belief and confidence that your parents have in you. It's the self-belief and confidence that your friends have with you to score that winning goal. Or it's the detriment of missing that winning goal and being an idiot and a letdown. It's the taunts and the jibes of missing that goal, of not getting an A. And that then becomes a story that we tell ourselves. And one of the best ways to change your story and start building self belief within yourself is changing the physical language of that story. So when you use words like suffered, you know, it's I've suffered, I'm the victim here. You know, I have experienced, I have suffered abuse, I have experienced abuse. I have a life experience of being abused. You know, there's a difference in the language. Suffered is an emotional word, it carries a trigger, carries a tone, you know, when you hear suffering, you kind of get this image in your head of somebody being tortured. Whereas an experience, it's, it's an event. It's something that's happened. It's a past tense. Even if, you know, suffered past tense, it still carries that connotation, that visualization of pain and suffering. So when we change language and we, we spin it to be more positive, the story then loses its power over us. It stops being that, that problem that holds us back. Then we give our story, our power, our energy. Thinking of it in a more positive light, more positive light, it allows us to reframe that story and we take the power back. So here's one for you. As a child, I suffered at the hands of both of my parents. They wanted me to grow up to be strong. So what they did was they would find something that was important to me and they would torture me over it so that I could develop a thick skin so I could survive in a man's world and go off and I could be their definition of successful. A more positive light, shall we? As a child, I experienced abuse from my parents and the, the nature of the abuse that I experienced allowed me, to, allowed me to develop an external mask that allowed the world to see that I was unfazed and not bothered by what was going on. And that mask served me very well as a young adult, as I went into sales and as life was crashing down around my ears and it was really, really a stressful environment I became this really elegant swan who could glide gracefully across the manic stress of the river and nobody could see how fast my feet were paddling underneath.
when we reframe our stories, we take the power back. We bring confidence and love into ourselves and into our lives. And some of us have more stories than others that need reframing. And when you have reframed all of your stories and when you replay those stories in your head, you replay them with confidence and with passion and the positive reframe, your self-belief will start to come. Reframing the stories is one element of several that can be done to, to generate self-belief. And if you'd like to hear more about how you can find self-belief within yourself, I'll pop a calendar link below, grab some time and we can talk about it. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Vicky Poole. I'm an ancestral healer and coach. See you later.